You watch me, Leo. You watch me cut through all the red tape. One call to Dr. Nevins, and Vanessa will be in evaluation. She's not going to cooperate with this, David. She's not going to just walk into a doctor's office. Yeah, well, then Dr. Nevins will have to come here. But by morning, she will be in a locked ward. Listen, you can't commit her. Now, without Dr. Nevins, I can't... We haven't even discussed this. I don't have to. Look, you wanting it doesn't make it right, okay? Leo, after what we just witnessed, what is there to discuss? We both know the woman is twisted. She's been twisted for years. She drove my father to suicide. She accidentally killed one lover. And we can both guess what she did to Larry. Wait, well, hey, you have no evidence of that. Even without the business with Larry, the woman is deranged at best. That's enough to put her away. Put who away? Vanessa. I'm going to call a colleague to have her committed. And, and Leo is, is playing devil's advocate. You're against it? Look, all I'm saying is that an asylum might not be the best answer. Well, if the question contains the name Vanessa, it is. David, you're completely right. Call. Do whatever it takes. David said no. You're not going to have her mother committed, David. It's for her own protection, Leo. She just lost her home. And her husband, and, and her identity for crowds. So she's acting a little crazy. So your first thought is to call the men with the white coats? Come on. David is right, Leo. Your mother needs help. Oh, and look who's suddenly concerned about my mother's well-being. Greenlee, you've been working overtime to get Vanessa out of your hair. This isn't any of your business anyway. I'm going to be your wife. Yeah, well, if you think that you can tell me who's in and out of my life, maybe we should rethink that. No, I don't, no, you don't mean that. Of course we're getting married. Even though Vanessa would like nothing better than to break us up. Hmm. So why didn't you tell me you went to see her? Wouldn't be because you tried to, to bribe her and then blackmail her, would it? I was trying to talk to her like a normal person. Mm -hmm. But David is right. She's not normal. Not even close. And, uh, what, designing your own cover for the informer is normal? Greeny... Like I told you before, this is none of your concern. Of course so it is her concern, Leo. She's coming between the two of you. So you agree with her? Then you agree with him? Does it matter what I think? Look, Leo, I know you cut your mother a lot of slack, but she's acting weirdly irrational, even for her. Yeah, and she doesn't even know about the Larry business. Larry? Vanessa's ex-chauffeur slash lover? I know he's the guy that beat Leo up. There's more? No, there isn't. And I'm in no mood to speak to either one of you about this, so just drop it. Fine. Don't speak to me. But David is a doctor. If he thinks his own mother is mentally imbalanced, you should believe him. Why? Well, he's done nothing but try to distance himself from Vanessa. And now suddenly he wants to play the concerned son and do it by, by, by putting her away? Forget it. He doesn't give a damn about Vanessa, he just wants payback for the way his father died. Death with you. You don't have to. I sat there and listened to you blame her for his death, David. But she's the one who suffered. Vanessa? Yes. Vanessa suffered for my father's death? Oh, you're the one who ended up with all the money. What? Are you out of your mind? You honestly think that matters to me? Look, my point is that he had cut her out of the will oh, before he killed himself. You don't, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, uh -oh. right? So back off, Leo. I'm Leo, warning you. Oh, Please. you lived a cushy life, David. And she was kicked out to fend for herself and then for me. Yeah, right. And she managed just fine. Yeah, didn't she, she did Leo? manage just fine. And I saw the way she lived and what kind of life she had to leave because of that. But you know what? No matter what happened to us, no matter how bad things got, she never once said one mean thing no. about you. You were Please. always the, the genius brother, the doctor. Maybe she said that to make you feel inferior. <sighs> nice, Greenlee. Thanks a lot. Aaliyah, we've seen Vanessa's movies. She's a brilliant actress, and she always has an agenda. Look, listen to me, Leo. I'm not out trying to get revenge on our mother. I cut that woman out of my heart a long time ago. It was the only thing I could do to survive. I'm sorry that you weren't able to do the same. Not too late, Leo. Would you want to shut up? You had far more of an agenda than Vanessa ever had. It's you. Since when are you the expert on parents? What about the sickos who raised you? Didn't they always work it out so that they were in Switzerland when you were in San Diego, and then they, they were in San Diego when you were in Switzerland? Stop it. Why do you feel you have to hurt me? I'm trying to help well, you. I don't need your help. 
All right? Fine, I'll go. Go? Why don't you run to Jake? Why? You always run to Jake when things don't go your way, Granny. And he is understanding, yet noble as he provides a strong shoulder for you to cry on. After me? the way you've been treating me, who would blame me for running not to Jake? Not me. Go, if that's what you want. Believe me, I'm not going to try to stop you. Of course! Why would you need me when you have your mother? Other thing is just a technicality. So if you want to pretend just to be strangers, that's 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 perfectly fine with me. Yeah, well, I would mind, Leo. All right. I spent my entire life alone. I never even gave it a second thought. But I like having you in my life. Spare me. No, come on. I was best man at your wedding, remember? And I felt that we've been developing, you know, kind of a. A nice connection. So the, the perfect way to bond, in your opinion, is, is what to get together and measure mother for a straitjacket? What if she really killed Larry, Leo? The way she did Paolo. Then we have no evidence of that. Yeah, but even if we don't have hard evidence right now, we both know she's capable of it. Do you honestly believe that we should just turn a blind eye to but that? Mother isn't pure evil the way she is in your mind, okay? Is she a weak person? Yes. Is she become selfish in order to survive? Yes. But. You know, despite everything she's done or may not have done, I don't, she's always loved me. And in her own twisted way, she's always loved you, too. Uh, look, look. I understand why you need to stand up for her, okay? When I was a kid, I, I didn't think anybody was more beautiful in the entire world. And when she decided to be kind, I was the happiest kid alive. So maybe I saw more of that side of her than you did. All right, well, maybe I'm jealous about that. Maybe. <sighs> Leo, please, let's, let's not become enemies over this, all right? No matter what Vanessa's done, she has, she's a problem for both of us. You know that. I mean, look how she's coming between you and Greenlee. That's no reason to have her committed, David. All right, all right, maybe this isn't the time to try and figure this out. I know, you're right, she has gone through a lot lately, but no matter what face you put on it, Leo, she's not handling it well. Well, I guess not. Maybe she does need some help. That's, that's all I'm saying, okay? So why don't we try and get that for her? We can make sure that she has a full psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> and you're gonna handle it? David, come on. We both know that you're not going to have Vanessa's best interest at home. We'll do it together, okay? Nothing can be done without your consent. Let me think about it. I promise you I'll do my best for her, Leo. If not for her sake, then for yours. Don't say another word. Yeah, Enchantment, uh, uh, could I speak with Granny Smythe, please? No, no, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll try back later. <laughs> 